Stadium in Flushing, New York, as the Video Game Network presents Philadelphia Phillies Baseball. Tonight, the 5-2 Phillies take on the 2-5 New York Mets. Hello, my brand G here. Another installment of Phillies Baseball in the Video Game Network. Phillies coming off a win against the Mets on Sunday. They won it by a score of 7-2. So they're going to take the second game of this three-game series so far. And these are the starting pitchers. And I'm running on a 9.00 ERA again. Jacob Pizzini, he has a high ERA, but won his last start. It is a starting lineup with Rivera, Utley, Ryan Howard, Adrian Belte, Salvador Perez, Dominic Brown, Andres Blanco, and pitcher Aaron Perrain. They said they got the room, and he had a high ERA, he pitched seven innings, gave up ten hits. The Mets did end up winning that game. Ready to start. Ben Rivera will lead off for the Phillies. Batting at 300. Center fielder, Ben Rivera. Rivera leads it off. And the first pitch is foul. No balls pitch, and one strike. Seven ten. Rivera tried the bunt. Miss. No balls and two strikes for Ben Rivera. Oh. Outside, one ball and two strikes. Take a look at Jacob Zegun's scouting report. And there you see, the four seam fastballs, fastest pitch. There's Chase Utley batting at 267, 200 and five RBI. No balls on one strike to Chase Utley. Hit to Murphy. To Murphy. Yeah. Using David Wright and um, Utley's thrown out. Two down, and then we'll bring up Brandon Jordan, who is batting at 280. We've got Daniel Murphy and David Wright. Daniel Murphy is at second base. David Wright is at third. I want to get the names right here. Jordan takes a strike, no balls and one strike. and one strike. Wait. That ball is hit to one more floor as and Jordan is thrown out in a one, two, three inning for the green. Mets coming up the bat here in the bottom of the first. Here is the New York Mets starting lineup. As David Wright will bat first, Juan Lagarde will bat second, Michael Cadillo third, Duda fourth, Granderson fifth, Flores sixth, Arn Arnold seventh, Juan Lagarde eighth, and the Green ninth. That lineup is facing Aaron Harang. And here is 
David Wright. Wright takes the ball up high, one ball and no strikes. Inside 2-0. Oh. A rank pitch against the Nationals had a little bit of struggles. They end up losing that game 8-4, and it's three balls and no strikes to right. Juan Lagares waits on deck. And he walked them four straight. Sandberg is not going to like that outcome. Yeah, he does not want harangue, not throwing strikes. And he finally gets one over as no balls and one strike. Runner goes, here's the throw on a second, up high, stolen base for David Wright. All right, got a good jump, and you see how slow Harang's delivery is, and Wright ends up stealing second. Runner in scoring position early on in the first for the Mets. One ball and two strikes. And it's hit foul. Fly ball, center field. Ben Rivera. One out. Wright's going to go to third on the throw. That throw was offline, so David Wright's at third with one out. And they'll bring up Michael Kadire. Kadire batting at 389. He does have two home runs. Guards did his part, moving that runner up to third. Mets with one out. Harang trying to escape this inning without giving up a run. That's looped. The block goes. And that is two outs here in the bottom of the first. So he went fishing. He ended up getting an out. Mets manager does not want that happening. Giving up outs when you have runners in scoring position. The ball is a one strike. Lucas Duda batting at 259. He's got two home runs and four RBIs. Two and oh. Curtis Grandison waits on deck. Nice pitch there, three and one. Not a very chilly night here in, in City Field. And over, three balls and two strikes now. Full count. David Wright will be off here. And 
ball is foul. Struck him out, so Harang escapes damage in the bottom of the first. They leave one, no hits for the Mets. We go to the bottom, go to the second. No score here at City Field. Ryan Howard, the batter, batting at 250. He does have a home run this season. First baseman, Ryan Howard. And that is a strike. No balls and one strike to Howard. That is hit to the left side. They put the shift on. How it's thrown out. Lagarde's made the throw. One out here in the second. But they put the shift on, and Howard almost got him down the left side. Howard almost ended up beating it out. Here's Adrian Beltre. Is outside one ball and no strikes. Beltre batting at 280. And his base hit the left field. Branson plays it on the hop, and Beltre is at first. Batting six, the catcher, number 13. Salvador Perez. Salvador Perez. Nice hit by Beltre as he just slings that one in the left field. That's a strike. Perez, two time American League All Star. It's hit, and that is a double play ball. And the Phillies are retired here in the second. No runs, one hit, none left. We go to the bottom of the second, no score. It's Curtis Grandison. He's batting at 192. Anderson takes a strike, no balls and one strike. And a pitch in the inside corner. Foul, two balls and two strikes. Three balls and two strikes to Flores. Excuse me, Grant. Grandison, Wilbur Flores waits on deck. Another foul. Harangue's thrown 25 pitches in this game so far. Here in the bottom of the second. Struck him out, and the throw on the first. And Grandison's retired. One down is Wilbur Flores, batting at 250. Home run and four RBIs. And it is a strike. No balls and one strike. Back 
through the middle, but Utley stops it, goes over to Howard, two outs. Nice play by Utley, keeping that ball from going in the hole. Utley still got it. He's getting older, but he still has it. Balls and one strike. Right, two. Oh, and two. Quick inning as Rucker goes down swinging. A quick inning for Harang as we head to the third. There's no score. Here's Dominic Brown batting at 238. He's got three home runs and five RBIs. The left fielder, number nine, Dominic Brown. And that is a strike. No balls and one strike. One ball and two strikes. No offense here. The first couple innings has been fast paced. Brown with a foul. Count is one and two. Struck him out. Brown chased a bad pitch way inside. It is one down here in the third. I don't know what he was going at here. I mean, that pitch was well inside, just swung. Took a bad angle. He wasn't going to get it anyway. This is Andres Blanco. And Blanco fouls it. No balls in one strike. Did he go? Did he go? Yes, he did. 0 oh, 2. Oh. One ball and two strikes. This is the first road telecast of the season. Um, the TV, the broadcast schedule, it will be by six games on. WBRN as Blanco strikes out. We'll talk about that. It. Two out. Take a look at the room on this pitch. Well, as I was saying, and here's Aaron Harang. Six on WBRN UPN 57. We will have five on KIR TV. Keep it real TV. And they will have more than 25 games on video game network. That ball is hit foul. So we got three networks. Our home of Phillies baseball, but the flagship is video game network. We have most of the Phillies coverage. One ball and two strikes to Harang. That ball is hit to the shortstop. Wilma Flores retires Harang. That'll end the top of the third for the Phillies. We go to the bottom of the third. Of course. Here was Dilson Herrera. Leading off on the mat. Second baseman, Dilson Herrera. Boom. 
That is a strike. Balls and one strike. No, that's a ball. One and one. one, and one. Go. Inside ball. Two balls and one strike to Herrera. Side three and one. The groom waits on deck. That's foul. Full count. Thank you, mate. And Herrera draws a walk. Second walk by Harang, and he'll bring up Jacob DeGroom, who's batting at 500. He does have three RBIs. I mean, he had a game in, in his first start. He had a huge game, knocked in three runs, so he can swing the bat. And he will be on a bunt, and he takes low. Bunts it a good one. They'll go over the second the way late, but the Coon does his job. One out here in the third. A nice butt by the Coon. That's three unassisted. His David Wright who walked his first time up. He did steal a base. Balls and one strike. And it's fair down the left field side. That is going to be a single for David Wright. And the throw on the man, he ends up at second. I thought it was going to be a single, but Wright ends up going to second base. And that is going to be a double for Wright. As Herrera moves up to third. Excuse me. It is RBI double. Herrera comes in to score. And it's one nothing Mets. My apologies. They don't have the little score box up there. So it is hard to tell if the runners scored or not, but Herrera does score. Mets have a one nothing lead. Wright is at second base. No. And it's two balls and no strikes. Skies is on the right field. Jordan will make the catch. Tagging his right. He will go to third. It's two outs. David Wright's at third. And I bring up Michael Kadire. And the Mets trying to add to their lead here in the third inning. That is grounded to Utley. Utley 
has to throw. It's over Howard's head. Wright's going to score. Padilla goes to second, and the Mets lead it 2 to nothing. So that'll be an error on Chase Hutley. Pitching coach trying to calm Harang down. Wasn't a bad pitch. The Dyer stays at first. I thought he was going to go to second. He stays at first. One ball and no strikes. Strikes, Curtis Granderson waits on deck. Three and one. Kadir is at first, two outs. That is hit on the Utley. And it's time to fire over to Howard, and Howard makes the out. That'll end the inning. But the Mets get two runs. There was one error. Matt Fashkirchen comes your way in the third after three. It's 2 nothing, New York. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Oh, the next pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Chase Utley will stand in. The National League starter at second base in last year's All-Star game. Now here's the first pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Oh and, and the pitch. Now the 0-1 is right back past him on the mound, and it's going to keep on going into center field. It's a base hit. Okay, take your time. And you know, that's what they needed. It's just a one-out single. Nothing too amazing. But now at least you get that guy into the stretch and maybe give your guys a little hope up there. Brandon Jordan will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Oh. The 1 0 pitch. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. This is a good approach when you're facing a pitcher you're not too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. The 2 0. Outside, 3 0 now. And he's got a little bit of work to do now to avoid that first walk. Can he do here three and zero? Oh. That's on the outer edge. Three and one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom, and if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Here he comes, three one. Now a ball hits sharply on the ground to third. The second for one, on to first, not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Well, you could have put the first base bag out in the outfield grass on this play. You're not going to double this guy up. He's too fast. Still a pretty good job of at least getting that lead runner at second base. 
Ryan Howard will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now the first pitch. Hey now. Oof. One ball. I'll tell you, you do not want to buzz this guy's tower. Now Howard waits on the 1-0. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball, one and one. The one one. And they pitch on, out one. here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Come on. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Now the two one. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Is he worrying too much about that guy on first? I, I think he might be. Guys worry so much about the stolen base, but they don't realize that a walk is 10 times worse. The 3-1 is on the way. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, and you know he wanted that one. Now the inning will continue, and a guy moves up into scoring position here. Adrian Beltre. We'll get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. Here's the first pitch to him. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Well, not really how you want to start the next guy after a walk. That pitch isn't even close. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Here's the 1-0. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Come on, let's hold them. Here's the one and one now to Beltre. Now a breaking ball here, and it's whacked into left center for a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And they are on the board as the run scores from second to make this a 2-1 game now. Sometimes with guys like this, you could fool them once, maybe even twice, but you're not going to fool them forever. And he sits on this two-strike curveball and drives home a run. Go, Matt. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. One zero on the way. Now a check swing here and a little looper. And here's Duda to make the catch, and that's out number three. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Mets two and the Phillies one. Curtis Granderson will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch coming. Low of the fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. Come on, Matt. 1 0 pitch now. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Granderson waits on the one-two. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Jordan is there and he'll bring this one in. This crowd oohs and ahs every time this guy hits a fly ball. But he didn't get all of that one, and it's pretty much a can of corn. Wilmer Flores will stand in. 
He grounded out his first time. First offering on the way. In there at the knees, strike one. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. And now pitch on the way. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. The pitch. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And foul. Here's another 0 2. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Here he comes again, one, two. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. You know, it seems like every time we check these out and show motion, it always looks like the bat breaks the plane. Look here, sure enough, I don't think he holds up in time. It looked to me like that was the right call. Into the box now, Anthony Wrecker, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Pitch on the way. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called to strike anyway. Nothing in two now. And now, 0 oh and 2 here. This is where you need to expand the zone. If it's close, you got to let it fly. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's 1 and 2. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Here comes a 1-2. Two. 2 and 2 now with 2 away and the base is empty. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on 2 and 2, I don't think you fool around anymore. 2-2 two, two pitch on the way. Here we go. Now a ball rolled foul toward first as he stays alive. Here's the 2 and 2 home. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Nothing happening there against Aaron Harang. He's still on the short end of a two-to-one score. Dominic Brown will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. The left fielder, number nine, Dominic Brown. Now the first pitch. And a first pitch sinker is over for strike one. The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Now here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Here's the one two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Here he comes on two and two. Now a swing and a ball hit foul to first as the first base coach had to do a little skip to my Lou there. Here's another two two. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Another try at two two. 
Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Sometimes if you let that changeup go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. Three and two. Here it is. Oh, and this one is hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And he will run this one down. Moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Well, I'll tell you what. This won't look like a whole lot in the box score, but anytime you can make a pitcher use up eight pitches to get you out, you've done your job as a hitter. Andres Blanco will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First pitch on the way. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Fifth inning, two to one our score. The 1 0. And he misses low with it, 2 and 0. And I think with no one on base, you know, this is a guy you need to come after. I certainly wouldn't be afraid to give him a fastball here. Now the 2-0 home. Goes the other way, and he got a lot of it out to deep left. And plenty of room out there for Granderson, and there are two away now. And if these guys want to keep it fly balls, I think he'll be happy with that, especially when it's the guys down near the bottom of the lineup. Aaron Harang will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First offering. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike one. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Here it comes. That's on the inside corner to put him behind here. Nothing in tune. Now here's the pitch. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Yeah, that's the put away curveball. A great pitch with two strikes. You start it in the zone and then let it work out and see if it'll chase. The one two. Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three. Three up three down for Philadelphia. They still trail it here two to one. Dilson Herrera will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch to him. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Now the pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. One one pitch on the way. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. Jordan is there and he has it for the out. Well, I think this is a slider down in the zone, running away. And that's a very difficult pitch to drive with any authority unless you're a guy like Matt Kemp. And this becomes a harmless fly out to right field. Jacob DeGrom will dig in. No official at bat yet as he delivered a sacrifice bunt in his first appearance. First pitch coming. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Two runs on two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Here's the 1-1. One, one. 
A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Yeah, he's getting some good run on that two-seamer. It's moving better than it was even a few innings ago. The one and two with one away. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Again, a one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. Sets the 2 2 pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Here's the 2 and 2 offering. And he gets under the 2 2 a bit as this is sent in the air out to straightaway central. Revere is there, two gone. Yeah, he's able to set down his opposite number there. And I'll tell you, these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. David Wright will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Now here it comes. Here we go. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Throw on to the big fella Howard at first, and with that, the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three, as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Ben Revere will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. And the pitch. Goes the other way, and he got a lot of it out to deep left. Granderson is under it to put it away, and it's one pitch, one out to kick off the sixth. You can't underestimate how important a start this is when your team's on a losing streak. He has been phenomenal. It's all thanks to him that they've got a good shot at ending this thing. Chase Utley will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Pitch on the way. And this ball's pulled on the ground down the line to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. You take a look there at the line from our starter. I mean, basically, he's allowed three singles so far, and that's it. They haven't been able to mount any real opposition against him so far. Brandon Jordan will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Here's the first offering. And a fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. Ball two. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but... As long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need a... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Phillies down in order. They're down 2-1. Juan Ligares. We'll dig in now as he'll lead things off for the Mets in their half of the sixth. First pitch coming. 
And this is lined right back up the middle. And no shot that time for Rutley. It's by him into center for a base hit. So with the leadoff man at first, time to jump back a half century or so as we call on today's version of this date in baseball history. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And we're going to have a change coming up as that'll be all for Aaron Harang. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Justin DeFreitas is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Here's the first pitch. Michael Kadire stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 1-0. Oh. Ligaris run. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. Throw over by Utley. One away. Yeah, and here with the runner who's on the move, you've got no chance of even thinking about getting the double play. So a smart idea there just to take the sure out at first. Lucas Duda will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Here's the 1-0. That's inside. 2-0. Hey, it's danger any way you look at it right here. You've got a base open, but you've got an even better hitter waiting on deck. So I don't think I'd be working around this guy. I'd be forced to go right after him. Now the 2-0. Look out, all over the place now, 3-0. and oh. The one thing he's shown so far, he's not afraid to work inside. Yeah, with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. Here it is, the 3-0. And he gets this fastball over, back to 3-1 and one now. Wow, you got to think he got away with one right there. If you're a pitcher and you're pitching to this guy, you cannot live in that location. The 3-1 coming. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. Curtis Granderson will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Now the first pitch. And that one swung on and missed 0 and 1. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow up by guys when you need to. As a look, now the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Well, that's a good spot for that two-seam fastball. You know, remember, that'll run away from left-handers, so a good idea to work the outside edge. The 1-1 home. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to 1-2 and two now. Big pitch here, one and two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. Comes set, now the pitch. Fouled back. Here's another one, two. On hit well by Granderson. This ball's in the air to deep right. Out of here. 
He was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. A three-run homer here for Curtis Granderson. And it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. Oh, yeah. And that's what you're paying your big horse to do out there. I think he knew he wasn't going to get a fastball right there, so he just stays back as long as he can and then just explodes right through the zone. Wilmer Flores will stand in now following the home run, and you wonder if that losing streak is about to go by the wayside. Well, they're not home yet, but certainly this has been a much better performance than we've seen out of them for a while now. So all signs seem to be pointing to a potential victory. Now the 1-0. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, man. Well, you're starting to get into a situation now where you can't keep giving away base runners if you want to stay in this ballgame. Here's another one on the hit by pitch. Into the box, Anthony Wrecker. Swinging a ball, hit on the ground. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0-1. Three runs already home here. From the belt, kicks and deals. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Pause, now the pitch. Now this is swung on and dribbled up the first baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Now another 0-2. And this one gets away. And he is safe at second, and the wild pitch here could prove costly with two away. Well, and that's the trifecta out there. He's already had a hit by pitch. He walked a guy, and now a wild pitch here in the same inning. Not exactly one for the time capsule, I don't think. He's ready now, the pitch. Tried to shoot the corner, and he missed it, two and two. Yeah, that was outside, but it's right where he wants that pitch to be. If you do take that thing, there's no guarantee that it won't be called strike three. Come on, New York. Here comes a 2-2. And he takes right ball three, right. so it's a full count now. In danger now of a second walk out of the bullpen. Not exactly providing relief. He's got to find it here somehow. Come on, press this next hit. Full count offering on its way. Now a ball lined toward right center. And that is going to be a base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. And you know, once you see this ball get down in right center, I was thinking this is a run easy. That's a nice play to get to it quickly and fire it back in. And that'll wind up forcing that runner to hold on at third base. David Buchanan trot in from the bullpen as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two out. Dilson Herrera will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. Runners at the corners, two men out. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. Oh. And with two outs, you want to make sure those guys earn that run. Well, don't let them score on a wild pitch. Now the one and one pitch. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Right-hander deals on one and two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But the Mets strike for three, all coming courtesy of this three-run home run. Four, five, and six coming up to start the seventh. It's now five to one. Seventh inning. And it's seven to one. It's five to one, New York. As Howard takes a strike, no balls and one strike. 
Curtis Granderson hit a three-run homer in the bottom of the six to give the Mets a five from one lead. And Ron still in the game. Struck him out. One out. Ron still in the game. Here's Adrian Beltre. He's had a good day. Two for two, two singles, and an RBI. DeGrom had a high ERA in his last start. That's likely to go down. Here's a ground ball to third. The ball is over the head. A bad throw. And it went over the head of Lucas Duda. But that's what happened with Chase Sutley. He threw the ball over the head. It caused a run to score. Let's see if the Phillies can get something going here in the top of the seventh with that error. A sky flying in the, in the infield. David Wright. Is the groom numbers? He's thrown 74 pitches. He is he's a quick workforce here tonight. Brown fouls it off the glove. No balls in one strike. Two quick strikes on Brown. And Inside, one and two. One and two. Are you crazy, bro? Ball, that's out. A little bit outside, two balls and two strikes. Ground ball to shortstop. And that'll take care of the Phillies here in the top of the seventh. It was an error. One runner's left on base. It's stretch time at City Field. Mets lead it 5 to 1. It's Jacob DeGrom. DeGrom, the batter, a sacrifice bunt in the third. Jake Diekman's up in the bullpen for the Phillies. And that is ball one. Again, it's still in the game. Inside, two balls and no strikes. And you don't want to start off the inning walking a pitcher. Hit the Utley. One out. Is David Wright? He doubled and knocked in the run. His average is up to 414. That ball is foul. One strike on right. Don't forget to tune into Twitch TV. Username New Jack King 1984 for all Phillies broadcasts. Here's a base hit. And right is on first. Center fielder number 12. Which TV? Here's Juan Lagarde. The center fielder, he's one for three. Oh. One ball, no strike. One ball and no strike. And 
Off the bow. Two and two. So it is two down here. They just chase a bad pitch right there. Some pitches you just don't go after. And that was a pitch that you shouldn't go after. Here's Michael Kadir, and Kadir takes the ball. That is hit the left field, and that's going to go off the wall. Played on the hop by Dominic Brown. The throw is not, well, right as that third. Brown prevented right from scoring by throwing the ball in. So it'll be second and third with two outs. They're going to walk Lucas Duda. Here's Curtis Granis, and they load the bases. Take their shot at Grandison here with two outs here in the seven. And that is no one ball. In the center field, that's a base hit. And two more runs are going to score. And the Mets lead it seven to one here in the bottom of the seven. Curtis Grant is in a two-run single. The Mets trying to break a losing streak. They're just trying to break their losing streak. They lead it 7 to 1. Skied up with Salvador Perez. And that'll take care of the Mets here in the seventh. The seventh inning. But the Mets get two. We go to the eighth. The Mets lead seven and one. Here's Andres Blanco. Shortstop. Andres Blanco. He's just trying to hope to get something going here as DeGrom is still in the game. He's thrown 79 pitches. Strike one. No balls and one strike. That's his 80th pitch of the game. Two. Oh, one ball, two straight. 
He didn't go. One ball and two strikes. Guy in the left field. And Granderson will put it away. Take a look at the pitching comparisons. Haran gave up three runs. Gave up three hits. DeGrom still in the game. He is still pitching. Haran gave up three runs, but the Mets scored four more runs. A big blow was the Grandison three run homer. One ball and no strikes. Catcher coming out talking with the ground. Three balls and no strikes. Ben Rivera waits on deck. Xavier Paul walks. Ben Revere will bat here in the eighth inning. Has no balls in one strike. Hit, that's a double play ball. And that will end the Phillies inning. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Herrera, nice play. Nice throw to get the double play here. We'll be back. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Jonathan Phillies. Pettibone will come Number into the game. Here's Anthony Record. That is low for a ball, one ball and no strike. Ground ball to Beltre. He'll throw it over the first for the out, and one down in the eighth. And you look at the line score, Phillies on one run in the fourth, that was it. The Mets got two in the seven, three in the six, and two in the third inning. Eight hits. The Phillies only have three. Here's Herrera. And that is the ball. One ball and one strike to Herrera. Phillies will wrap up the series tomorrow at City Field. That ball's hammered deep to right field. That ball's going to split the gap. Herrera will end up at second. He's always going to try for third. Here's the throw to third. He'll make it. Herrera kept the Jets going. He ends up at third. He's got a triple here and a bottom of the eighth. losing streak here. Jacob DeGroom looks like he is going to stay in. And 
bat here. Runner at third, one out. On strike. Bounces up there. One and one. I got the one and two to count now. Two balls and two strikes. Another foul. Two and two. Touch that pitch. Let's go. Sky in the left field. Dominic Brown will put it away. And they're going to try to score Herrera. And he does. Eight to one. David Wright, he's two for three, he doubled and single. The Mets have had a pretty good day here today. Wright takes a strike, 0 and 1. Well, in this situation, they're just going to have to regroup and come back next tomorrow and try to take this rubber match of the series. Some um, times team have off day. The Mets were on a losing streak, and they came back in a big way and got an impressive win. That one is high, two balls and one strike. That's it, foul. Tomorrow's game will be on Video Game Network and Twitch TV. I will not be commentating on that game. But we will try to have an upload on the YouTube Video Game Network of this ball spot in the center field. But it will be on Twitch TV tomorrow, and we will try to get that game on the Video Game Network as well. We go to the ninth, Billy. Ninth, the Mets are retired. They get a run in the inning. The Mets lead by seven. Here's Chase Utley. The groom was going to try to pitch a complete game. He's only thrown 90 pitches here. Here's Chase Utley. And Utley fouls it. No balls and one strike. Hit foul. Ball outside. One and two. Is up there, two balls and two strikes. Full count, Brandon Jordan waits on deck. And 
Utley the board with a walk. Now batting. You see the line. Brandon Jordan. It is Brandon Jordan. He's over three. Side and ball and no strikes. Foul. That's a hundred pitches thrown by DeGrom, so Balls hammered the right field, caught. Two outs. Third base for number 25, Adrian Beltran. Here's Adrian Beltran. Adrian Beltre, runners at first, two outs, and it's foul. Beltre has yet to hit a home run. He's five off a of career home run number 400. That's a base hit, so the game keeps going. Here's Salvador Perez, 105 for Jacob DeGroom. Uh, he wants, the manager wants him to pitch a complete game. But the Phillies are keeping this game alive. That one is hit foul. No balls and one strike. No and two. Outside. Mets fans anticipate the final strike here. Mets trying to break their losing streak. That ball's hammered the left field pretty well hit. Granderson going back, puts it away, and the Mets losing streak is over. And so is the Phillies winning streak. The Mets win it by the score of 8 to 1. And Jacob DeGroom, a complete game shutout. Mets pick up their third win of the season. Green pitches a complete game, giving up a run. And they break their lead. Eight to one, the final score. Bell Gray had three hits for the first curve, Branson two hits, five RBI, the Green. Home run, Jacob DeGroom's 2-0, his second win of the season. And he is the player of the game. The runner four hits, 
Five strikeouts. Walk three. That's when it by the score of eight to one. Next Phillies game, like I said, it'll be on Twitch TV. Uh, keyword New Jack King 1984. And we'll try to get it on the video game network as well. We will keep you posted. We'll check uh, the video game network channel periodically to see if the game has been uploaded. For all the production crew and all the crew here at Video Game Network, Brandon G saying goodbye.